Yeah, this is really amazing. A lot of celebrities are coming together to support New York City and the surrounding areas in New Jersey, Long Island, all the, the areas that were hit by Hurricane Sandy. Now, they did have a little mini concert a few days after, but that was kind of thrown together. But this is going to be a really big concert. A lot of huge names signing on. Of course, the Jersey Boys, uh, Bruce Springsteen, John Bon Jovi, both from New Jersey. The New Yorker is Billy Joel, who's a Long Islander. Alicia Keys, who's from Manhattan. Uh, Paul McCartney has also signed on to be part of this. Kanye West. West. And now this is just starting. This is happening December 12th. They're calling it the 12 12 12 concert. December 12, 2012, it's happening. So expect a lot more big celebrities to sign on before then. Of course, this will be available online. There's they're still determining TV networks to put it out. Um, but expect a lot of huge stars to really sign on. And it's produced by the same people who put on the concert for New York City after 9-11. So this is really a big deal. And I think if people have not seen what's been going on there, I mean there are still areas that are it's so hard. It's going to take a really long time to recover from this hurricane. So it's it's great that that Hollywood is stepping forward, that the musicians are stepping forward to really draw attention to what's yeah. going on there. What an awesome lineup! All right, I want to go to actress Jennifer Lawrence of Hunger Games fame because she is telling everyone that in Hollywood she's considered obese. That is insane. <laughs> Yes, it's crazy because actually when the Hunger Games came out, a lot of the reviews basically said that Jennifer Lawrence didn't look hungry enough because she's she, she's toned and she's fit and she looks great. She looks like a real person. Uh, but it was really interesting to see these reviews kind of saying, oh, she wasn't skinny enough. She's big boned. I think one of the reviews called her, which is, you know, kind of a euphemism for saying she's fat. So she now she has a new movie coming out, The Silver Linings Playbook. She was doing an interview and she said in Hollywood, she's considered a fat actress. She said in Hollywood, she's considered obese. Uh, she said she's like that one picture of Val Kilmer on the beach. She made kind of a joke about that. But then what she said, which is so refreshing, she said, you know, I'm not going to starve myself for a part. And she didn't really want to be a bad example to all those young girls out there who look up to her. So it's so refreshing to hear that. That's how she is in, in real life. It's great to see this. I hope a lot of actresses follow her lead. Oh, she is great. I, I agree. I think it's a great model to give young women. All right. I want to finish off with Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. They have split. A lot of people actually want them to get back together. That doesn't yeah. seem to be the case though, right? Right now, it doesn't look like they're getting back together, but you know, you never know what happens. I mean, these are two really young kids. Uh, they're 19 and 20 years old. Uh, a lot of different reports why they broke up. Maybe there was a Victoria's Secret model involved, but she denies it. Um, it, it really is unclear why they, why they broke up. They did apparently meet last Sunday when they were both in New York City, but it doesn't look like anything is on the horizon for them to get back up, to get back together, but you never know. Now, Justin Bieber is sitting next to Taylor Swift at the American music awards this weekend so expect those rumors to start that him and taylor swift got together and then she can write a song about him too so <laughs> exactly um. <laughs> it's good to have new material isn't it <laughs> yeah exactly all right kim seraphim of in touch weekly thank you so much and thank you so much